Hello guys, in this video I am gonna unbox and reveal the Raspberry Pi 4. Yes guys, it was launched around 2 weeks before itself but I got this hands on because of some custom issues I didn't get them faster. So I have ordered this from the official Raspberry Pi 4 website and I just ordered the 1 gigabit version. The reason is I am not going to use my Raspberry Pi for doing some heavy tasks. Just going to use it for programming and uh, making some DIY stuff and projects so I don't require 2 GB or 4 GB of RAM but I have DDR4 RAM I will explain in a later video so if you unbox this box you will get the hands-on of the Raspberry Pi 4 first and a small card insisting what to do and what to not do with the Raspberry Pi 4 and and use a manual it's pretty thick it has some safety regulations and user guide I don't think so I need this I will compare this Raspberry Pi with the Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 actually. So this is the Raspberry Pi 3, very old Raspberry Pi 2 and this is the Raspberry Pi 3. I didn't get the Raspberry Pi 3 B plus because I didn't feel anything much better in that. But the Raspberry Pi 4 is really a beast compared to the 3 version. I will insert the SD card. Okay. So this SD card contains the recently updated uh, Raspbian Buster Edition. So it is compatible with the Raspberry Pi 4. So now let's see the physical overview. So here we got is the main processor. This is the SOC from Broadcom. And this is a 2711 chipset from Broadcom. It has 1.5 GHz quad core CPU. It's core A72 CPU where the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 got an A53 1.2 GHz quad core and the Raspberry Pi 2 has 900 MHz clock set Broadcom CPU. It's a quad core CPU still. Now these two has the LPDDR2 2, 1GB of RAM. They are really pretty good actually. When I was using the Raspberry Pi B Plus, I think I am uh, yes, uh, this is the fourth Raspberry Pi I'm using. I got I started my career of Raspberry Pi using Raspberry Pi in Raspberry Pi B Plus. Now I came to the Raspberry Pi 4. It's really a big upgrade upgrade guys. And to be mentioned, this is the RAM module over here. This is an LPDDR4 1 GB RAM. We can get 2 GB and 4 GB. Any any versions will have only a single single lane one only. So they didn't use uh, dual sticks for the RAM. So only single IC for the RAM, single unit. And here we go to the Gigabyte uh, Ethernet controller and also the USB 3.0 hub controller and everything. The only thing that is surprising me is this particular uh, CPU SOC has PCIe lane support so we can get the true Gigabit uh, Ethernet support and the true USB 3.0 support also. So you can do high speed data transfer via internet and also via USBs. So here we go to the Type-C port for powering it up. So this port is just used for only powering purpose. I don't think so. They are useful for any other things just like uh, powering the unit with 5.1 volt and 3 ampere current. So I have to give much to actually run this stably. And for surprisingly, I got two HDMI ports. I'm really disappointed because I couldn't use this Raspberry Pi 4 out of the box because I don't have a micro HDMI cable or adapter. So I have to go and get it and I have to work with it. So I'm really disappointed, but I got two HDMI ports. Still, many of the testers are saying that is no use of having two HDMI ports. So I have to test that and reveal up. And here I have the AV port. It's a composite AV 3.5 mm jack. So you can still use this if you don't have an HD TV or monitor. So in the back, you don't get anything. The main thing, we got the 40 pin GPIO still the same in the from the Raspberry Pi B plus you get the same layout. And here's the PoE um, connector actually. So if you're going to use power over Ethernet, you have to uh, fit a hat like uh, a hat that actually gets, have some transformer to work the PoE better. So unless it doesn't work with PoE. So that's to be known. We get here as the and also we have the DSI and CSI connectors and also they say they have some improvements over this connector so you can use this to get some more improvement like they have H2 DSI and the H2 CSI for better camera imaging and also for better displaying and also they have mentioned this DSI supports up to 1080p 60fps not VGA resolution it has 1080p 
just your fear support in this DSi actually and the HDMI is also have uh, HEVC support up to 4K 60fps both each HDMI's so dual monitors with 4K can be working with but I don't recommend I will surely recommend only using a 1080p monitor because this bone can't handle that even and the GPU to be mentioned they use video core 6 500 MHz which is really a good improvement from the B plus so I have to also try that one because B, uh, even the Raspberry Pi 3 can't even uh, handle 3D graphics acceleration, only it can handle 2D. As per this also, I think it may handle some 3D as well. And to be known, most uh, from the Raspberry Pi foundation itself, most of the components compared to the Raspberry Pi B+, plus, Raspberry Pi 4 has a totally different components. And why it is not uh, made in mass production till date is, you can find this product in Amazon but don't think that's not a original price and that's not a original retail actually it's a pre-release products so they are selling the pre-release only so don't ever buy Raspberry Pi 4 now if you really want this board urgently you can go for that price because they are selling the 1 GB version for 3500 but actually that should be priced around 2700 and for 3500 you must get the 2 GB RAM version but it's overpriced now but still if you want to go for the Raspberry Pi 4 as much uh, as fast as possible you can go that for that one why means the software they have made here is the Buster Edition is not actually optimized to run with the Raspberry Pi 4 and some of the components were still not uh, getting uh, compatibility with the operating system and doing some kind of um, irrelevant tasks and th these are the things that actually the testers in UK are mentioning up and also this board gets lot of heated up like my Raspberry Pi B plus will maximum attain 70 degrees Celsius even though if it is running a big task like serving data or playing a 1080p 60 frames video or something uh, in YouTube it doesn't here get up uh, above 70, uh, de 70 Celsius 70 degrees Celsius but this Raspberry Pi 4 can hit up to 120 degrees Celsius so it is really uh, very hard it will actually heat up the board much more faster even without any kind of task you will reach 60 degrees Celsius if you do watch some YouTube videos or something on this board you will surely hit the 80 degree one so it is really getting more hot you need to use some cooling fans to actually make uh, have this uh, board cool so in the next video i will surely explain about its operating system and the optimization they did with the raspberry pi 4 and also the speed test of the gigab gigabyte ethernet and the usb 3.0 slots also so thanks for watching guys subscribe my channel to uh, actually get updates from the future uh, videos thanks for watching subscribe to my channel goodbye